Hello and welcome to Vovork. I'm Brian Watrous and this is part 42 of a 10-part video series where we're learning how to automate using VRise Orchestrator. Uh, this is the last of what I intended to be six videos that were talking specifically about how to use the PowerShell plugin for VRise Orchestrator. And as I was going through the previous six videos, I realized I completely left out one of the most important things of all that you need to know. I could swear I created a PowerPoint slide deck to show you this one, but somehow it got lost. So I've uh, quickly recreated this title slide here so that I can seamlessly switch over here to our lab environment and we'll take a look at this last workflow. So the last workflow that I intended to talk about is this super important one here called invoke an external script. Uh, if I had uh, noticed that I lost this uh, particular um, slide deck and hadn't recorded this video, this video actually should have been uh, one, two, three, four videos back, but we'll do it now since I've got, still got you. Anyways, the point of invoke an external script is to create a, uh, is to actually call an, a, a PowerShell script in a way that's slightly different than what we've seen in the previous uh, three videos. In the previous three videos, any PowerShell code that we were calling was actually embedded into the workflow itself. But that's not necessarily the easiest way. The easier way oftentimes is to simply place your PowerShell script onto your Windows server. If you've got your PowerShell script that you want invoked on the PowerShell server, you can invoke it by calling invoke an external script. So we'll click run. And when we do so, let me hit that run button. When we run the workflow, the first page of input parameter questions that you see here, actually there's only one input parameter, it's the same exact thing that we saw when we called um, the, the action generating workflows in the previous two videos. So there's nothing new here. All we're doing in this screen is clicking not set and picking our, our um, Windows machine that has Power CLI and WinRM. So nothing different here. What's different in this workflow is in step 1B. In step 1B, you specify here whatever PowerShell script file that you want called. And again, that's a script file that resides on the external Windows server that's got PowerShell and WinRM. So you just type the name of the command, excuse me, the PowerShell script file that you want run, um, typically a file ending in .ps1. And down here, you specify any arguments that you want to pass to that command. But that's how very simple it is to uh, invoke an external command. Again, if, if I could go back in time, or I had the time to record um, these videos, I would go back in time and show you this workflow before generating an action from a PowerShell script or generate an action from a commandlet. Those are actually harder than calling this. This is super simple, super easy. You just put your PowerShell script on the uh, Windows server and you use this workflow, invoke an external script to call it. It's nice and simple. And again, um, there's gonna be an output parameter to this workflow. Uh, so go take a look at the outputs tab. In fact, why don't we do that real quick here. Um, the outputs tab contains a single output parameter of the same type that we saw in a, in a couple videos ago. PowerShell colon PowerShell remote PS object contains the exit value of the uh, PowerShell script that we called plus the output and the errors and so forth. Again, if you don't know what this is, go to Tools, API Explorer, and look up what a PSO object um, is, and you can learn more about that there. Okay, so that should wrap it up. That's not everything there is to know about the PowerShell plugin for, for uh, orchestrator, but I hope that helps you and in particular um, subscriber Manvendra. Uh, I hope that helps get you up and running and using the PowerShell plugin for orchestrator. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section in YouTube down below. And if you have any other ideas uh, like Manvendra had 
about uh, topics you would like to see me cover in these videos, again, drop a comment in the comment section and cross your fingers that I have time to, to read the comments, let alone actually do those videos. But I would like to hear your ideas and where possible, when possible, I'd love to create videos that are uh, geared towards specific questions you guys are asking. Okay, so there we go. That'll wrap it up. That's PowerShell plugin on Vrise Orchestrator. Um, I don't have another video queued up in my list of videos to create just yet, so I can't tell you what's coming up next, but when I get a idea of my own or you guys give me one, I'll start creating more videos in the near future.